done become dead. Oh, day yon become dead. Day done broke in my soul. Yon become dead. But morning day yon become dead. Morning day yon become dead. Morning day yon become dead. Day done broke in my soul. Yon become dead. A brand new day yon become dead. Brand new day yon become dead. Brand new day yon become dead. Day done broke in my soul. Yon become dead. Oh, come on, child, hush, hush. Somebody calling my name. Hush, somebody calling my name. to Albright College's third virtual choral concert entitled Music of the Living. As February and March are Black History Month and Women's History Month, respectively, you will hear music that is primarily made up of music from these groups of people. You will hear also three genres of choral music that's associated with the black community. Gospel, the concert spiritual, and the African-American non-idiomatic motet. Beyond the typical work associated with learning to sing the music um, for this concert, our choral ensembles have also invested m uh, a lot of rehearsal time in discussing the differences between these genres and how can we perform them authentically. We learned that the concert spiritual, like the piece you just heard, are 19th century religious folk songs of slaves seeking personal freedom. They're traditionally performed without any movement or instrumentation. Gospel songs, on the other hand, are 20th century sacred songs that are conceived as, uh, as a way for people to move into economic freedom. 
They traditionally do use a soloist and incorporate various forms of improvisation. You will hear Olivia Trace and our collaborative pianist Jeff Lance exemplify that improvisation in the piece City Called Heaven. The non-idiomatic genre is a relatively new term that's being used by choral musicians. These pieces are those that are uh, a European non-black influence but may have some harmonic structures or form structures that are associated with spirituals and gospel music. Throughout the concert, you will hear members from uh, Main Men discuss why they found this music so important to perform. And you're also going to hear um, from members from Albright Angels discuss their connection to Harriet Tubman. It is our hope that through our care careful performance of tonight's works that we celebrate these precious traditions by giving voice uh, to music that expresses the wide range of emotion experienced by these two essential communities of people. For anyone who would like to follow along with our digital program, it can be found in the YouTube description. We hope you enjoy this concert, Music of the Living. Harriet Tubman was a woman who was willing to give up her freedoms in order to allow others to experience the same. Harriet Tubman was an advocate and an activist in every way possible. Harriet Tubman was so incredibly brave. Harriet Tubman was a free thinker. Harriet Tubman was making history. Harriet Tubman was an abolitionist. Harriet Tubman was passionate. Harriet Tubman was ballsy. Harriet Tubman was successful. Harriet Tubman was my childhood hero. Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman, Harriet Tubman was feminine, independent, selfless, brave, incredibly strong, was an inspiration. Harriet Tubman was ahead of her time because she fought for freedom. Harriet Tubman was important. Harriet Tubman was a queen. Harriet Tubman was a badass. Harriet Tubman was a daughter, a mother, and a sister. Harriet Tubman was an advocate. Harriet Tubman was not afraid to do what was right. Harriet Tubman was a ray of hope. Harriet Tubman was a trailblazer. 
Harriet Tubman was a leader. Harriet Tubman was a leader. Harriet Tubman was a hero. Harriet Tubman was a hero. Harriet Tubman was free. Come on up, shh, 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 come on up,
The reason that I like performing gospel and spiritual music is um, music itself already is very empowering and especially how you deliver the music and how you um, perform the music. It, um, it definitely, it, it sounds like a powerful message, but when you're doing it with gospel music or spiritual music, it, the, the background, the culture, and the whole aspect of the music itself is already empowering enough. And especially when you get to produce, not necessarily like your version of it, but like more of your inter interpretation of it, it definitely, it sends an even more powerful message. And especially to the person or the audience, um, whoever is listening to it, they can interpret it how they want to. And then it just goes on and on and on. And I feel like that's one of the, the great reasons that I like um, performing spiritual and um, gospel music. Well, it's kind of hard to explain because I've been singing gospel music and spiritual stuff like that throughout basically my entire life. And it played a pretty big part of keeping me, keeping more of my mental state throughout high school. It just brings a sort of like warmness and like lip, and it just lifts my mood most of the time. So I really enjoy it because gospel and spiritual music are all about bringing people together through song. And that's pretty much what we're doing pretty much every time we sing Gondor Come Day or Word Was God. And music has always lifted me up, but I feel like understanding and a better understanding of this and the culture behind spirituals and gospel can kind of bring that lit music lifting up to a whole new level. As a choir and during rehearsal or you're just having conversations as choir members outside of rehearsal, we get an opportunity to talk about the music and what it means and beyond just the facts that you know you learn about this part of history. On top of the music being fun, we get to really engage the emotions might have gone or you know deeper stuff than just the facts. And I think I've learned more or connected more um, with this sort of content through music than I ever have in any history class, so. Uh, have a very, very unique type of energy. Um, I feel like for our songs that comes mostly from like the rhythms, the beats, it's a very driving beat, it gets people engaged, it's got an energy, like upbeat, powerful energy. I think that's easy for audiences to connect more easily to, so I think it's a more engaging piece. I feel like uh, spiritual and gospel music have a lot of passion and power behind it, and it gives the ability for every part to have their own moment to show what they got for the pieces because for me, they're some of the pieces where I've had the most fun in the rehearsal process in preparing them, and I've had the most fun performing them. And given the context of every, given everything that's going on in our world, I believe that in st striving to understand the context of the African-American tradition, as well as performing it and doing my part in paying respect, I believe that I'm helping make a difference.